Hey everybody, this is 5.3, switching forms. So we've been talking about point-slope form a lot recently. Our last unit we talked about slope-intercept form. Both are, are good forms. Sometimes it's going to be useful to be able to switch between forms. All right. So to go from point-slope form to slope-intercept form, all we need to do is solve for y. Um, and to do that, and when I say solve for y, that means we have y on one side and everything else is on the other. So to be able to put it into slope-intercept form, there's two things we'll need to do. One, we'll need to distribute. And we've learned how to do that. You guys are pros. So we would distribute our slope, distribute the slope. And then two, we need to add or subtract um, y1 to both sides, okay, so that we can get y by itself. So let's use that. Let's see what we can come up with. I'll do a couple together, and then if you would, pause and try it yourself, okay? So first, we would want to distribute. So we already have our y plus 1 on the left side, and we distribute, so we'd have 2 thirds x, and then we distribute to the negative 6. So we would get a negative um, 2 thirds times 6, okay? You could just do that in a calculator if you wanted to, but we've learned how to do this. If we, we could write it as a fraction if we wanted to, but we just multiply straight across. So we would end up getting um, negative 12 thirds, and we can simplify that to give us a negative 4. So we'd end up getting y plus 1 on the left side still, 2 thirds x, and then minus 4. The last thing you need to do is move the, this would be our y1, we'd need to move it to the other side, we'd subtract 1 to both sides. Again, if you like to put that vertical line, that's just fine too. And we'd end up getting y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 5. And now it's in slope-intercept form. Okay? So we've learned how to distribute. We've learned how to, like, add or subtract things to both sides. I think the only thing that would maybe be tricky is just multiplying or distributing, like, if it was a fraction. So let's do one more example of that. Okay? So again, we would want to distribute the slope. So that would give us a negative 5 eighths x. Again, when we distribute, we distribute the sign as well. Now we'll distribute it to the negative 40. Okay, but what's a negative times a negative? That gives you a positive. Okay. And then we would have 5 eighths times 40. Okay. Again, we could write this as a fraction if you wanted to and multiply straight across. We would get 5 times 40 gives you 200 over 8. And that would give you, sorry, I wanted to get my calculator for that. Make sure I get it right. Okay, so 200 divided by 8 gives you 25. So would have y still on this side is equal to negative 5 eighths x plus 25. All right. Um, just trying to think if there's a, a different way. Maybe, maybe you learned to do it differently. I'd love to hear it if you did, um, like, this part when you distribute, like, a fraction. Okay, you're welcome to plug it into your calculator or anything like that would be great. Okay. All right, so give C and D a try on your own and see what you can come up with. Okay, so hopefully you give that a try. Again, we're going to distribute the negative 2 sevenths. Let me zoom in a bit. So we still have our y plus 3 is equal to negative 2 sevenths x. Then we distribute to the positive 21. Okay, so a negative times a positive will give us a negative 
2 sevenths times 21. Okay, and then we can multiply 2 times 21, that gives us 42 over 7, and that would give us um, 6. So we'd have y plus 3 is equal to negative 2 seventh x minus 6. And then the last thing we need to do is subtract 3 to both sides. So we'd get y is equal to negative 2 sevenths x minus 9. All right, d. So here we distribute, that gives us a negative 5x. We distribute, that gives us a negative 5 times 1 fifth. Okay, and negative 5 times 1 fifth, again you could write that as a fraction, we'd multiply straight across, we'd get negative 5 over 5 or negative 1. So we'd have y minus 8 is equal to negative 5x minus 1. And then we'd, to get y by itself, we just add 8 to both sides. And we get y is equal to negative 5x plus 7. All right, so that is switching from point-slope form to slope-intercept form. Okay, and we're going to kind of bring it like everything we've covered from the last two lessons and bring it together, and then we're just going to switch it into slope-intercept form. So it says write the equation described below in slope-intercept form. Okay, so they give us a point, and they give us a slope that is parallel to y. So the parallel slope here will be a negative 2. Okay, we'll use the same slope. We'll use point-slope first, because that's what we're given. We're given a point and a slope, so we will do, this could be our x1 and our y1, so we'll do, oops, sorry, we'll do y minus y1, and that will give us a positive 4, because a minus a negative is equal to our slope, which is a negative 2, and we'll do x minus x1. Okay, and then we'll switch into slope-intercept. So we'll distribute. That gives us a negative 2x and a positive 6. Okay, so negative times a negative. Remember, we distribute the negative as well. And then our last step is to subtract 4 from both sides. Oops. And you're set. Okay. So give B a try if you'd like. Pause and practice. So again, we have our x1 and our y1, and we have our parallel slope. Parallel slope here would be 1 fourth. So we do our point slope, y minus y1 will give us a positive 6 minus a negative. And then we do our slope, it's 1 fourth. And then we'll do x minus x1. We'll distribute, so we still have y plus 6 on that side, and we'll do 1 fourth times x, and then we'll distribute to the 2, so we'll do minus 2 times 1 fourth. Okay, again, you could write it as a fraction, you could multiply straight across, so you'd get 2 on the top and 4 on the bottom, or that's a negative 1 half. So you'd have y plus 6 is equal to 1 fourth x minus 1 half. And then the last step is subtract 6. Or maybe I'll put that underneath because it doesn't matter. So minus 6 minus 6. So we'd have y is equal to uh, negative 1 fourth x. And then we'd need to um, simplify. So what is negative 1 half minus 6? Okay, you could write that as a fraction if you wanted to. You could use a calculator to do this. Okay, but by hand, you would need to have a common denominator. So you'd need to multiply top and bottom by 2. So this is like our first unit. So we'd have negative 1 half minus 
12 halves, and that would give us a negative 13 halves. Okay, so we will do minus 13 halves. So we'll always have fractions. Don't, don't write your numbers as decimals. Okay, we'll always use fractions. All right, so give C and D a try if you'd like. Okay, perpendicular slope. So that means a perpendicular slope, we're going to switch the sign, be positive, and then we'll do its reciprocal. So we'll flip it. So we'll have 8 fifths, a positive 8 fifths. Okay, so this will be like our x1 and our y1. So y minus y1 will give us a positive 8 is equal to 8 fifths times um, x minus x1, which will give us a 0. Okay, so we will switch forms. We'll distribute 8 fifths times x. If we distribute that, that gives us a 0. So you don't need to write it. You could do minus 0. That's not necessary. And we'd have y plus 8. And the last thing we need to do is subtract 8 to both sides. Okay, so we'd have y is equal to 8 fifths x minus 8. Okay, one more perpendicular slope. So perpendicular slope here would be, would change its sign and flip it. Okay, and that would just be a negative 2. So we do x1 and y1. So uh, y <coughs> minus uh, y1 will give us a positive 3 is equal to, <coughs> sorry, negative 2 would be our slope, x minus x1, which is 12. We'll distribute the negative 2, so that would give us a negative 2x and a positive, a positive 24. And then we still have y plus 3. Just subtract 3 from both sides, and we get y is equal to negative 2x plus 21. Okay, last but not least, last time we learned how to write up an equation in point slope given two points. We're going to do the same, but then we'll switch it into slope intercept. Okay, so if you're given two points of a linear equation, that is how we will come up with um, writing it in slope in intercept. Okay, so our step would be one, we would find the slope. We won't do all of it. I think there's four of them. We'll probably just do two. Okay, find the slope using m is equal to y2 minus y1. Okay, this is not new. We've done this before. Okay, then once we have our slope, we'll use our, our point, use point and slope for point slope form. And then three we would switch forms, okay? All right, <clears throat> so first we want to find the slope. So just a reminder, slope is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We'd label x1 and y1, x2 and y2, okay? So we would do negative 6 minus a negative 2 all over x2 minus x1, so 3 minus a negative 3. Okay, just remember double negatives gives us a positive, so I'll just do that here. And that would give us a negative 4 over 6, or negative 2 thirds. So our slope is negative 2 thirds. Now we'll use point slope form. Okay, we're going to use our first point. So y minus y1, that will give us a positive 2, is equal to our slope, negative 2 thirds, times x minus x1. So x minus a negative 3 will give us a positive 3. Now we'll just switch forms. So we'll distribute. Again, we, we do this sign as well. And then we'll do... Um, negative two thirds times three, so negative two thirds times three. 
Okay. We write it as a fraction. We get a negative. This would give us six, and this would give us three, or six thirds would give us two. So y plus two is equal to negative two thirds x minus two. And then we'd subtract two to both sides, and we'd do y equals negative two thirds x minus four. Sweet. Okay, so maybe pause and give b a try. In slope, we want to find x1 and y1, x2 and y2. So we could do x or y2 would be 8 minus 2. Okay, that's from here and here. All over x2 minus x1. That gives us 6 over 2 or 3. So our slope is 3. And then we'd use point slope because we have a point and we have a slope. So we'd do y minus y1 is equal to the slope times x minus x1. And then we'll switch forms. So we'll distribute 3x minus 6. And then we would add 2 to both sides. So y is equal to 3x minus 4. All right. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. Please make sure you are able to do this. I feel like if problems get a little too long or difficult, I see a lot of students just kind of giving up. So please, again, we have these three steps. We know how to do all three of those. It's just kind of bringing it all together. Okay. All right. Well, good luck and shoot me an email if you have any questions.